I'm going to be talking about logical operators and short circuit evaluation and then some cool tricks you can do with short circuit evaluation. So first of all, this is the logical AND two ampersand signs and this is the logical OR two pipe characters. So if you have something like this nested IF statement, IF NUM is more than 5 and then if num is less than 10, we're going to console.log unicycle. We can actually just use the logical AND instead of this nested IF statement. So let's see that. I'm going to get rid of this. And this is going to give the same result. If num is more than 5 and num is less than 10. Console.log unicycles. So just if the number is between 5 and 10. We can also replace this with the OR sign. Or now it's if num is more than 5 or num is less than 10. So either of those things could be true to print console.log unicycle. And all numbers meet this criteria, so we'll always have a unicycle. You can never have too many unicycles. Okay, now let's talk about short circuit evaluation. Short circuit evaluation happens when conditionals use AND or OR. It means that the second argument is evaluated only if the first argument is not enough to determine the value of the expression. When the first argument of the AND function evaluates to false, the overall value must be false, so it doesn't have to evaluate the second argument. When the first argument of the OR function evaluates to true, the overall value must be true, so it doesn't evaluate the second argument. For instance, So it evaluated the first one, floor is more than 5, but it didn't even evaluate the second one. Once it found out that this was false, it didn't need to even evaluate the, the second part of the conditional. So that short circuit evaluation, it just skips that part completely. You can actually use this for some interesting things in JavaScript. For instance, let me set something up for you. I pasted this code in here. So we're going to set test to true. And then we're going to create a function, is true, function console.log, this is true, var is false, is the function console.log, this is false. So it says if test is true. Well, test is true, so it's going to run that function. So if test is true, it runs the function. So if we run that, yep, it's going to say test is true. But there's a way, this is the slow way to do it, or the, the more wordy way to do it. With short circuit evaluation, there's actually a, a better way to do it that's... Uh, a little a little better let me show you so in this short circuit evaluation we just put test and and is true so if this is true it's going to run the, the next one if the first argument is true it automatically goes to the next argument which can be a function so if test is not true it won't run this function so let me comment this out and I'm going to run that again but it's still going to say this is true in the console because of this. So we, we made this whole if statement into one line without even using the word if just because of short circuit evaluation. Let me show you how you would do that with the or operator. Okay, here's the code I just put in here. Test equals false. If not test, if test is false, then run is false. So if we run that, we can see yep, at the bottom it says test is false. However, the short circuit way of doing it is like this. You're going to put test or is false. So if this is true, it's not even going to bother going to this because it's the or operator and we're testing this or this. But if this is false, then it is going to go to the function over here. So if we run that and you can see test is false, test is false. It had the first test is false from here and then the second test is false from there. Okay, another way that short circuit evaluation can be used is to set a default value for a function argument. Look at this function. Function, the same old foo, and you're going to put in a name here. So the name is going to equal name, or the name is going to equal bar. That basically means if you don't pass in a name, there won't be anything to assign to name. So this will, e this will be false. And if this is false, it's going to go to the next argument, which is bar. If it's true, it's going to assign that to name. So by putting or, the two lines like that, which means or, and putting bar here, you're setting a default value. So let's run that and see what happens. And you can see uh, my best friend's name is bar. My best friend's name is Bo. So first it used the default, 
and then it uses what we assigned, assigned here. So those are just a few things that you can do with short circuit evaluation. Well, thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.